of you. Oh, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today's video, I have a few good things I want to show off today. First and foremost, this view. Ever since I, ever since I discovered this park, I've been lost in it, mesmerized. Just look at this view. This is what I call Mission Hill Dog Park. Just nothing but pure openness. And of course, that view. Mm. Now of course, secondly, I want to showcase these freaking goggles because they are simply awesome. Like, these goggles here are like the best made goggles, or one of the best that I've ever bought. In. Even compared to all the ones I bought off Amazon. So, a huge shout out to BC Goggle Co. I'm not sponsored, endorsed, or any kind of way. I just want to, you know, endorse their product. I just really want to show off on how amazing these goggles are. And that these are like the most top-notch quality goggles you could ever own. But now, with that out of the way, let's strap these suckers back on. Okay. And now, thirdly on this list, is the differences I've made with the bike since I last previewed it off, which I believe my last video was astoundingly back in July, which is, gosh, it has actually more gravity and weight to it, more I actually think about how long it's been. But I also wanted to make some improvements before I made my next video. I know it's far longer than I ever hoped it to be, but let's point out the differences. So I actually got myself a, a new thick tire, which is a 26 by 2.8 tire. And it's actually been instrumental in support of the actual hub itself because this hub is really heavy. So with the extra chunkiness in the tire and the shell that is, it actually adds additional support to make it a more secure ride. And you may notice that I may have these fenders on this bike now compared to my olive green mid-drive one. And I'll show you why later on. But until we get to that later on, there's also a fourth thing I was wanting to show off today, but we got a little bit of a travel. And I figured this would be the best place to start because this place is so beautiful. I know it's been here for a long time, ever since moving up by this area. I discovered it yesterday and I've just been lost by it. Just so much room to do whatever you want. People have their own space. I could do a lot of projects with videos up here and stuff and have my own isolation, my own area to do whatever I want. You name it. So, expect a lot of videos in the surrounding area. It's really lovely. But without further ado, let's get to the area as to which, why I switched this gear up. Because it's going to be fun. So, I'll see you guys when we get on the road. Let's go. I wanted to show off how awesome it was because it's going to be an area that a lot of bike enthusiasts go down to do and uh, the best part is I can be a part of it too with a lot of practice. So I know that this day could be a lot better with the conditions being what they are but there is a wildfire burning just north of here as you can see through the valley but uh, there is this thing called the uh, Holkar Mountain Wildfire, which has been burning from, I'd say, the south portion of the mountain to the north. And it's still been going to this day, which is, I believe, beyond 700 hectares. That's an underestimate of how much it's actually burning right now, but the latest update I've heard about it was it said it's over 700 hectares. But yeah, it's the reason why today looks a little bit smuggy than normal. Alright, before I go full set on here, I want to make sure these people know. There we go. It's uh, 30th Avenue here is not currently still blocked off. I believe that they're hosting a pickleball down here. Holy crap, that is the largest in-town rental sco scooter group I've ever seen all at once. Oh yeah, they still got this. Oh wait, they may... Nope, it's still going. Oh. <sighs> Well, since that this area is closed off for now, I will come back to this area later. But right now, let's get to this area that I want to show off. <sighs> With no signal lights, I'm glad he's turning right, but 
a nice indicator of which direction that person was going would have been helpful to all viewers or road users. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Now, I, I do believe I did show off a video from past of what this used to look like, but man, what a difference this is now. So yeah, you can see a lot of high-tech mountain bikes in this area. Well, it looks like we have other enthusiasts who have uh, yet to discover this too. Oh. Now, without getting too intermittent up close, there's only better way, one better way to see this up close without being up close. And that is to be sort of overwatch. <sighs> so, this is the beginner's area. And like me, I anticipate I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this area. Just because how I see those bikers do it on YouTube, especially the downhill bikers. It's more intimidating looks in person than it does through someone else's lens who knows what they're doing. <sighs> so, that is just one area. The more intermediate slash expert area is just up ahead here's what the mo uh, new map supposedly looks like so right now ah, get my stuff caught up here so right now we are right here and I am right here so if we go up a little ways up here is where I want to check out so Let's go check it out. Uh, here goes nothing. I recommend when you're coming up here with any kind of motorized bike, be extremely careful. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's very occupied here. There we are. Now that there is the expert level. Uh, he didn't fully clear it. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go up here and do some aerial footage because there's just too much here to see on ground and on foot that I can't show off all at once. So, at any moment, let's transition over to some aerial footage.
I don't know about you guys, but this bike is definitely not for this kind of use. But man, I feel so left out. I almost wish I had a bike that I could compete. Wait a second. Whoa, where did this bike come out of all of a sudden? Seriously, I think I wish for it and bing, it's right here. Wow, I guess some wishes do happen on the snap of a finger, huh? Wow, okay then. Well, I guess we could do some slight showboating around here. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go and take a swing at the practice part. So, even this is already intimidating to me, so that's how into this you know I've completely been out of touch with. So yeah, if this uh, now answers why I have my front fender and my back fender on my uh, other bike, this actually will help answer that. Because <laughs> I will bottom my freaking battery with my freaking thing out, so if I don't have no cover or fender on, then we're all good. <sighs> so, wait for these guys to go. That inertia, baby. Oh, yeah. Even I still feel like a newbie. But yeah, I don't feel so alone here. But uh, that was a close call on one of them. Because they ended up going backwards. Yeah, they're well versed in this universe. So, but uh, I'm gonna go check out the other area more in person up there. Well, I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but I'm gonna ask for a little bit of assistance on this. And I'm gonna go up another way. Ow! I didn't do myself in, did I? So, maybe I did. <sighs> I don't feel like I should be doing a track in reverse. These guys are stalling. But yeah, this bike is perfect for this kind of use. Unfortunately, your man is not going to be attempting this right now because <laughs> I need to get used to taking flight landing properly and then two not popping my rear tire <coughs> while not making a successful jump and also sorry for my heavy breathing <sighs> But yeah, take the battery off for one, so I don't damage that. I know at some point I'll probably bottom that out at some point. So, Whew. turn this off. So yeah, now I got some uh, practice to do yet. Preferably more so without the battery than with it. Just because I know I will definitely bottom it out. And as nice and snug as this is, the fate will be determined by these little stunt jumps here, which I know I will succumb to. So, yeah. But uh, I believe once I get more familiar with the kitty area, then I can definitely graduate up to this area. Because uh, up here, is the information panel and also the two black diamond parts and that way I can tackle them in the trials so yeah the single diamond is advanced two diamond is expert and those two ones are beginner intermediate which I believe carries on over into the hill up there so <laughs> helmets mandatory well I think I'm overcompensating at this point but yeah <sighs> 
to get the perspective from somebody who doesn't do downhill mountain biking, who could eventually merge into the world of downhill mountain biking? <sighs> this is more or less what I can look forward to. <sighs> so, as you can tell, yeah, this is the expert area. <laughs> um, yeah. People on YouTube made this look real easy. I got a piece of cake. So. But uh, unfortunately, your boy's not ready. He needs some training. He's got to work his way up to this. Because if not, he going to pay for it in the hardest way possible. So, yeah. But I know this is definitely the right bike for this type of terrain. Because mid-drive is where... A hub drive does not fit very well, so yeah. So if you guys are into it, you guys can now come up here and do your thing and uh, whatnot. I just want to help gain this park some more exposure, even though it may have been already open to the public and the public may know. But for those who are not from from the area, you guys can now come here and like do your thing. <laughs> so. But uh, yeah, this is actually an area that I would like to expand my knowledge and get better at because just being an e-biker could just be one thing I can do. But I think it'd be awesome if I merged the two worlds into one, you know. So once I get uh, in better fit and uh, lose some weight, I feel like I'll uh, be more up to this and whatnot because I would definitely like to uh, come up here and be with the boys. It's not as busy as it was up here when I was up here earlier, but being that this allows me to kind of like overlook this entire area and just kind of show you guys for what it is, it's nice just to take a moment and gaze upon the land. But uh, there's actually another area I want to go to that I seen on my drone. I want to go and check out, so bear with me. I will switch scenes when I get up there. Stay tuned. All right, so now that we're further up the hill, here's the other area. So of course, ready, right at your own risk. Park is unsupervised. A professional guide or skills training is recommended. I got none of that, so that's why I'm not attempting this. Um, helmets mandatory, full face, and padding strongly recommended. Got the full face, I don't have the, well, except for the hands, but yeah, I don't have uh, anything else. Um, do not walk between futures. Please use drop zone exit. Sorry, no dogs allowed in drop zone. Permitted use mountain bikes only. Ooh, well, I'm glad I've only got just that. <laughs> Let's go and explore this area a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Just, ah, Jesus. Okay, there's my first warning. Wow, what a dip. Okay. I uh, <laughs> overused my ankle on that one. Oh my. Yeah. I'm uh, hurting right around here. That was an unexpected dip, you know. <clears throat> Let's try filling my gap in some. Because that can catch an unsuspected rider off. And. What happened to me is not what I would want to happen to is not what I would want to happen to anyone else. There. Ow. You know the surprises they say the ones you don't suspect or see are the ones that hurt the most? Gosh damn it. <laughs> okay, let's do that again without hurting my ankle. Being that my uh PCL here is not a so called one hundred percent slash wouldn't really expect to know the impact. Uh, of how to land on this properly. That's where I would want to seek a uh, teacher, get some, uh, you know, recommendations on how to like proceed because I'm always leading with my left leg out. Anyway, I thought I would show that to you guys because I've seen that on the drone when I was flying overhead. I was like, oh, that's an interesting area to kind of see in person. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this segment and on to the next segment, I'm going to run down here which will fully answer why I switched my fenders to my blue one. It's because 
I'm not gonna lie, I was already actually here one time to kind of actually scope out the area. And when I was going down that way in particular, there was so much gravity in my weight into the thing, into uh, the forks, that my battery was literally grinding into my f my fenders. So I figured if I was gonna dedicate this bike to this kind of sport, I would need to have as less fenders as possible and to worry about. So that's why my bike looks as naked as it does. So that way I don't have to, well I mean I could put a mud, uh, a mud guard in there, just a plain plastic one. But uh, yeah, if I'm gonna be an avid user on this track, this bike kind of needs to stay the way it is, except for the motorized part. So, on to the next segment, shall we? Let's see how it feels this time around. <sighs> I had to remember to go with the flow, because I'm not used to this. And I also screwed up on this too because, oh shit, Fawn. Oh shit, baby Fawn. Oh, that could be a deadly combination if one's not aware of that. <sighs> and because this is loose uh, gravel and dirt, which means the weight of my bike can give that gravel all the means to shift, even if I did go up this properly. <sighs> so. Oh, yeah. That feeling of flying is very unnerving to me. Ooh. <laughs> this is why I need more practice. <laughs> so this feels like second nature to me. <sighs> it looks like everyone's just staying chill and staying in this area for now, which is what I should recommend myself to when I... But yeah, that is loose dirt. <sighs> so yeah oh well, that was enough work on its own so yeah now that I've got the actual right bike to do this with I hope you guys enjoyed my run through with what I was able to show off minus the harming myself parts but uh, yeah I look forward to practicing more on this and find someone who can teach me how to be a better rider and a downhill mountain biker more than just being an e-biker for the sake of cruising and traveling so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did feel free to leave a like or a dislike feel free to get yourself subscribed hit that notification bell for post notifications so you never miss out on a single video and i will catch you guys in my next video so until next time have yourselves a lovely day, evening, wherever you're watching me from. Peace.